Satchikal, my name is Narendra Singhapani and today's date is uh, 19th of September 2013. I was born in 1927, so you can figure out how old I was. I was at that time president uh, and, and uh, head of uh, a company that I used to run, Captron. Yes, yes, I was very much uh, in Palo Alto at our office and Green Bay and uh, Bayshore Drive. Oh, it was all over, uh, you know, CNN and the news and radio, and, uh, all the information in every form. It, it was here in a very short time. You know. My reaction <coughs> was uh, very severe. I thought that the attack on Golden Temple was a uh, very serious thing that Indira Gandhi did probably one of the worst mistakes she ever made in her life and uh, it she paid for it but worse than that the Sikh community paid for it mm -hmm. in a very bad well, way. That there, there were not that many Sikhs in this area uh, but the Sikh foundation was very much around Sikh foundation in another few years is going to be 50 years old uh, it's probably the second largest Sikh organization in the United States the first one was the Stockton Group. We mm -hmm. formed uh, a group, uh, the trustees of the Sikh Foundation uh, got together and uh, we decided that we could do a number of things to counter it. And one of the things that we did was uh, we hired a PR person, a very impressive PR person, uh, and prepared four-page uh, ads into New York, Washington, uh, Chicago, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. These were full-page ads, which on top of that was a picture of Golden Temple with bullet holes going through it, and life of the Sikhs, and the story about the Sikh story. <coughs> we naively thought, having that kind of an ad, the Americans would know what it's all about. But unfortunately, it's not the case. I think uh, uh, the Jews do a much, much better job because uh, they let the world know about Holocaust. Every week there's a story on radio, television, all over the place reminding the world of Holocaust. And in our case, we just did it once. We assumed it's going to, the Americans would know, but they didn't. They had no idea what the Sikhs are about. <coughs> in November 84, I was also here. Yeah. It was equally terrible. It was just very, very bad. Well, I think that the Sikhs at, la at large were deeply hurt and, uh, and visibly mad at, uh, at the government of India because of the horrible thing that they did to the Sikhs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, my brother was traveling in a train and, uh, and that was attacked, uh, but he fortunately survived. Uh, this was uh, from Muradabad to Delhi. But you know, I tell you, um, 31st of December, no, no, what was the date? When uh, Indira Gandhi October, died? 35. October, October. Mm -hmm. When that happened, and uh, a horrible thing happened. My mother was in Dehradun and she was uh, not well and on that day she also died and my brother was uh, there and my father was also there but he was old. So my brother wanted to take my mother's body for cremation and there were riots going on in, uh, in Dehradun and uh, they had to put my mother's body on a, on a truck to take it to the... it was, it was horrible. The uh, most horrible thing that could happen to one's mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in India, yes, yes there, some of them have moved abroad but a lot of them are still here. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, my brother gets very mad at the whole thing, but the younger people, they don't even remember. 
frequently. Frequently we talk about that. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's something that uh, we, the Sikh community, has to do something about. And there are many different ways of, uh, of memorializing that event. Uh, but none of that has gone far enough at all. And this is almost 27 years ago. I can't believe it. No, it did not affect me uh, in, in a psychological form, but, uh, but I was uh, quite unhappy about it. Uh, uh, this PR group that we had arranged for me to uh, appear on a number of uh, television shows and radios and so on. And they were quite good, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, one of them I was interviewed for almost an hour. Uh, and, uh, uh, it was very, very, very I have a copy of that interview with me. It was, so we were, we, were, we were very, very sad about the whole situation. Um, but uh, no, I, I, I wouldn't say there's any uh, psychological effect, mm -hmm. per se. Yeah. Well, I think the stated story is, and even the Congress people basically say that the Sikhs were getting much too strong in Punjab. They were worried about them getting together and trying to get a separate state, which is what they, Indra Gandhi didn't want. And I think that's, that's their stated statement. But um, I think that um, Indra Gandhi had some bad advisors. There was a person with the name of Dhaban, for example, who, who gave him very bad advice on this thing. They should, they should never have done that. Um, and furthermore, they didn't have to attack the Golden Temple. They could have just surrounded it. And, uh, and after a few weeks, they'd be running out of food and everything. But they just wanted to teach the Sikhs. I started coming at least uh, uh, a year before that, yes, yes. Uh, as I mentioned to you before, uh, uh, we wrote a, uh, I, I uh, sent a telegram to Indira Gandhi basically saying, we have a large number of Sikhs living abroad and we can bring a number of them down there to talk to you, to talk to the other Sikh leaders and bring you together. And there was no answer to that. Well. Uh, uh, lots of things about 1984 that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every morning I, when I pray and we refer to our um, martyrs and, and, and I'm saying to myself, thousands of Sikhs die. Now compare that for an instant with what happened in the United States at 9-11. In 10 years, when 9-11 happened, they built a phenomenal muse, uh, 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 memorial with laser lights going to the skies and a museum at the underground and all that. Hey, we had more people killed and we haven't done anything about that at all. And that's, a, that's the worst part of us as a community. We really need to do something.